Hey everybody, this is Linda with Ink Stamp and Scrap. Thanks for joining me this morning. Today we are going to make a card together. I'm gonna to create it as I go. I pulled out this gorgeous um, greetings stamp set from the holiday catalog, this new gorgeous leaves stamp set along with the dies that go with it. And I chose Pool Party, Mary Merlot, and Bumblebee to be the three colors that we use on this card. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need is to cut the pieces for this card. We are going to need a card base that measures four and a quarter by 11. We're gonna score that at five and a half. Fold it in half. And then we're going to look right here and see, see if everything matches up perfect. It's a handmade card. Sometimes it doesn't. This time it doesn't. So the side that is a little bit longer, less than a sixteenth of an inch, I'm going to use that as my front. So I'm going to set it aside so I remember that that's the front of my card. All right, the next thing that we need are the layers. Oh wait, actually before I get rid of this vanilla, I'm going to need a square. The focal point of my, or the greeting for my card is going to be stamped on the largest scallop circle from the layering circles. And this size should fit just fine. Let's double check. Yeah, so I'm going to cut this out using my die cutting machine. So we'll set that there. That's another layer that we need. Now we're gonna get our cherry cobbler layer. That layer is going to be four and an eighth by five and three eighths. So this is now four and an eighth by five and three eighths, which leaves me just a tiny bit of a border around here. All around, I have a 16th of an inch because this is only an eighth of an inch smaller. Now I'm gonna take my designer series paper from Harvest Meadow and I'm gonna cut a four inch piece and I'm making sure that the design is vertical because this card is going to be vertical. Now this is a trick you can use to save some of your designer series paper or extend it you, to make more cards, whichever way you look at it. So I'm going to make this layer four by five and a quarter, which is what I already mentioned. And now I could just layer this on here and have a nice little border, just like the Mary Merlot layer, but that's like, why have the Mary Merlot just barely peeking out? Let's maximize this. Instead of from a 12 by 12, this size, I could only have six. Let's get 12 of them. Let's cut this on the diagonal, but not a perfect diagonal, uh, wherever it hits diagonal, because it gives your card some character. Your diagonal cut does not have to be perfect, but now I could use this piece for one card and this piece for one card. Today we're gonna to use the bottom piece and I could have even sliced it in the other direction. It wouldn't matter, but slicing your designer series paper layers on a diagonal extends them to be used on two different cards, which means that you're using it economically, but you're also using it up because I hear from so many of you that you get all this beautiful paper and you still have it for a very long time because you don't use it up. If you got it, you need to use it. So there we go. These are the first three layers of the card. Now I'm gonna quickly go use this piece with this large circle and make my circle for my greeting. All right, now I have my circle and I'm ready to stamp on it. And I'm gonna use Mary Merlot ink. It's a darker ink. So what I like to do is use my Stamparatus so that I have multiple chances to get full coverage and a really crisp, image for my greeting. I'm gonna grab the greeting from, oh, not from Gorgeous Leaves, time out. I'm gonna grab my greeting from Thinking Thanks and Peace. I'm gonna use the thinking of you, and I'm going to lay it on the circle exactly where I want it to stamp. Then I'm gonna close my Stamparatus, picking up the stamp, and I'm gonna open up my ink pad. You can see what I have here is just the shell of cutting out the circle. 
and it's attached to the stamp apparatus by the magnets. By making this, it is easier to hold down the circle and it also makes it so that I can stamp multiple times. I actually do have a little bit of um, repositionable adhesive underneath the circle just to make sure that it doesn't move. All right, so we're gonna ink this up. We're gonna ink this up. And actually, I really like that. So sometimes it works on the first try, but I didn't have to worry if it didn't. What I could have done is inked it up again and brought it over and it's gonna stamp in the exact same space. All right, let's put this ink away before it gets all over my fingers, just like it always likes to, and move on to start assembling our card. I'm going to use my Take Your Pick tool to pull this out. It's red ink, so it takes a little bit of time to set up. I'm just gonna set that aside. I'm going to clean off my stamp with my Simply Chamois. I'm just gonna wipe off all the ink. go. Pull this off and put it away because cleaning up while you go, I have learned, is the easiest way to keep your craft space clean. All right, we do not need this anymore. So now we have our card base, our first layer, our designer series paper layer, and our greeting. So now we just need some fun items to put this all together. And remember, we are focusing on the gorgeous leaves stamp set to add our fun items, if you want to call them that. And it has all these beautiful leaves along with these frame leaves that cut out these guys. So I'm going to stamp these and cut them out. And that's what we're going to use for our interest. I'm going to bring in my stamp mat. I have the other half of my very vanilla left over so I can use some of that to stamp my leaf. Grabbed my D block and now we're gonna get to stamping. So I'm gonna stamp the largest leaf in Mary Malo. I'm gonna stamp the tall leaf in Bumblebee and I'm gonna stamp the smallest leaf in Pool Party. So what I like to do is start with the smallest one and the lightest color. I just find it works better. And this is just traditional stamping, so we're just gonna ink this up, set it down, count to five in my head, lift it up, and we're good. I'm gonna grab my Simply Chamois. Clean off my stamp. And I'm just gonna set it aside for a moment and I'll put them all away at the same time. So now I'm gonna grab my bumblebee, which I guess you could argue was the lightest color. You could make a case for either one, but the Mary Merlot is definitely the darkest in this set. Now we're gonna do this leaf and I just wanna make sure it's got enough space so that when I do my die cutting, I can do it all at once. Again, I'm gonna clean this off because we're only making one. You, if you were making multiples of this card, should definitely stamp this whole sheet full of the trio of leaves, and then you can just keep running it through your die cut machine and getting all the leaves that you need. All right, and then we'll put this one away and get our Mary Merlot. Last darkest but not least all right and we'll stamp that down i might have moved oh no it's okay it's crisp i'm happy the one thing you lose when you cut these out with the dies is some of the splattering around but i'm okay with it for this card if you are not a fan of getting your simply chamois super dirty the other thing you can do is on some scratch paper, you could stamp most of the ink off of your stamp and then just clean it with your Simply Chamois. All right, so these three are no longer in use. Let's close up this ink pad, put our stamps away. 
And let me show you how these dies are going to line up. One, two, three. So I am going to take these dies, set them up between my acrylic pads and run them through my Stampin' die cut and embossing machine, just like this. I'm gonna use the magnetic plate to hold those frames in place, send it through, and I will have my die cuts. Yippee! All right, we have all of our pieces together now. We just have to use some linen thread to embellish this, and then we are off to the races. So let's start assembling our card. First thing I'm gonna do is get all of these layers together. I'm gonna bring my stamp mat back in because I don't wanna get any extra stamp and seal anywhere else. We're gonna start with the largest layer of the card. So I'm just going to put stamp and seal all the way around and I'm gonna put a stripe of it down the diagonal of the card. And then we're gonna lay this on here, making sure that the alleys at the top, bottom, and two sides are even. There we go. All right, then we're going to put our designer series paper down and we're gonna do the same thing, except that we are going to only worry about the left, right, and bottom alleys being even because we have this cool diagonal cut. Here we go. And move it over. Yes. Okay. There we go. All right. Now for the leaves, I was thinking using the using a ribbon or a bow of linen thread and kind of doing something like this. But the problem is then I lose the beautiful Mary Merlot leaf. So I think I'm going to give the illusion that it has a taller stem to it and I'm going to pull this one down here like that. There we go. I'm going to do it like this and these are going to go right here. And then once I layer those on, I'm going to add a bow of linen thread. I'm going to make that real quick using my 10 second bow maker. There is a link below if you would like to purchase one of these. It is an affiliate link and I really appreciate you using it. So all you do is wrap this around, make one loop and you have your bow. And then I'm gonna use my ribbon scissors. To tie this off. There we go. Scrap gone. Oh, geez, stuck to me. Wrap this around, set it aside. Now, one way to attach this is to use some a glue dot and or a glue dot and you're done. The other way is to use some liquid adhesive and something heavy and set it on there to hold it there or some tweezers. Not sure which way I'm gonna go yet. I think actually I, I think I'm gonna use the glue dot because I want to lay the leaves down and then just put the ribbon on top. And I need the leaves to be static at that point. So let's see where this is gonna go first. So this is gonna go right here. Let's give that a little pop-up with dimensionals. Here we go, one, two, three, four, and a couple in the middle just to make sure that it doesn't flatten in the mail. This is gonna go up here, and I'm just gonna make sure that this side and this side are even, and I am gonna cover up my, and I also want it to be straight. I am gonna cover my designer series paper just a little, but I'm okay with that. Now, I showed you how these were all going to lay together. So I think I'm gonna use a dimensional to start this one just have to not have anything here so I can pull those sides out. So I think the only place a dimensional is gonna go on this one is right down here, and that is gonna anchor the rest of my leaves. So it's gonna go this way, just like that. 
Then this one is gonna go towards the top. Oops, wrong way. I'm not gonna take the sticky off yet because I just wanna double check that I'm not messing this up since we're creating on the fly today. All right, so I want this one and this one, but I kind of wanted them to tuck back there just a little bit. So there we go. And if I have the dimensionals where they are, so I'm kind of pushing down on them, kind of simulating that they would be there. I actually think that one might, I think I like that better. All right, so we're gonna go like that and then we'll put our bow right up there. Okay, so that's how they're gonna be. This one's going to lay just a little bit over the Mary Merlot one. And then this guy is going to be on the very top, but underneath, like that. And yeah, I'm gonna turn it just a little. There we go. Okay, now we need to add our bow and we have a pretty fall card to send to anyone. So when you're using a glue dot to add to linen thread, which is very fine, what I do is I take the glue dot and I use my take your pick tool and I kind of fold it over on top of itself until it becomes very tiny. It does give your bow a little bit extra dimension doing it that way, but the biggest thing is that it's small and hidden behind your linen thread. It does get a little sticky, but it does work. All right, and we're gonna go right here where the branches intersect. And then I need to bring this forward. There we go. All right, we have our beautiful bow. And there you have it, a beautiful fall card ready to send to anybody. Thanks so much for playing along with me while we created a card on the fly. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Click that notification bell so you know the next time I post a video. Until next time, be sure you're using your inks, stamps, and scraps.